So you get dragged to career day at the chemical plant only to discover that your superpowers have been videotaped. What do you do? Find out what Alex Mack did in today's Mac Monday breakdown of the secret world of Alex Mack, the videotape. Hi, how are you? It's great to see you. I'm Razman's Reality, here to alter your reality on film, TV, and comics. So if this is your first time here, and that is your passion too, then be sure to hit that subscribe button and ring that bell notification icon so that you don't miss anything. As always, if you would like to keep up with The Secret World of Alex Mack and watch the show along with me, you can pick it up via my Amazon affiliate link down below in the description box at no extra cost to you. Also be aware that my mic is currently experiencing technical issues with some buzzing. I'm doing everything I can in post-production to get rid of the sound and I'm hoping to get a new microphone very very soon. I'm about $70 away from being able to achieve that. Also today there is a very very annoying cricket in my background and I've actually filmed this video two other times trying to avoid the cricket but although most crickets are nocturnal this particular one seems to want to go all day so yeah I do apologize if there is any background noise in this video Alex Ray and Nicole are here discussing Paradise Valley Chemicals sponsored career day Nicole is very frustrated by her career Whereas Ray says he thinks he's actually going to enjoy the career that they gave to him. Alex reveals to Annie that she feels she may have made a mistake because she asked to work with her father in the science department and not being the second scientist in the family, she's afraid of disappointing him again. And Annie is just like, try your best and you'll be fine. But what she's more concerned about here is she gives Alex her examination to see if she's physically all right. Now the powers are affecting her as she normally does. That Paradise Valley Chemical, of course, is the one running career day. And she doesn't trust it at all. And Alex simply says, look, Annie, what was I supposed to do? The plant controls everything. They control the whole town. They own the school. And then, of course, as you would expect in the very next scene, Annie's suspicions are proven correct as Paradise Valley Chemical has created Career Day as a way to find the GC161 kid as confirmed by Vince telling Daniel Atron in this scene. It is now Career Day and we learn that the reason Ray was excited about his career for the day is that he gets to be CEO. So you see him buttering up to Daniel Atron here, bringing her her coffee. Meanwhile, here we see Alex and her dad, and her dad asks her if she's made any discoveries, to which she replies, definitely. If you fold this computer paper the wrong way, it makes a huge giant mess. And boy, was she right about that. I mean, who remembers 90s printer paper? I'm sure you all do if you were a fan of this show and lived through that era. It was the most annoying thing. Rolls and rolls and rolls of stuff before you ever found what you were looking for. Those annoying things that you had to tear off the sides. Ugh, I hated 90s printer paper. Anyway, Alex is frustrated because she isn't giving anything of real substance to do. And her father says that she just should stick to something simple because she's not ready to do any experiments yet. To which, of course, the frustrated Alex just wants to impress her father, so she takes it upon herself to utilize her zapping finger powers here to complete an experiment in these speakers. We next see that Robin's career day assignment is being in the hazmat lab and working with contaminations. And this is where we learn the quirkiness of Robin's personality for the first time and how much of a perfectionist and worry ward that she actually is. And it leads to some very hilarious stuff within the episode. 
Meanwhile, Alex has accidentally spilled a soda in her father's office and of course volunteers to go clean it up herself because it was her fault. At which time we see her duck down in hiding here because she manages to overhear Vince explain to Dave that they are taking surveillance tapes of all the kids today and the career day is just a ruse to catch the GC161 kids. So that is their plan. It is surveillance videotapes. Meanwhile, I mentioned earlier that Robin's work in the hazmat lab would prove to be hilarious in this episode. Well, because Alex was never able to return to clean up her soda spill yet, it is discovered by Robin and the hazmat lady, and they proceed to shut down the whole chemical plant to determine if this was a hazardous chemical spill. While this is happening, Alex went to find Ray so that she could inform him about the trouble that she's in and ask his opinion on what they should do. Ray, of course, very excited about his job, wants to show Alex, quote unquote, his desk. So they go into Ms. Atron's office, only to have to hide underneath the desk as she and Vince come in and discuss their actual plans of finding the GC-161 kid to which Daniel says you can cross avocado off the list unless GC-161 makes a kid incredibly annoying there's nothing out of the ordinary about that kid. Ray of course is very upset by hearing this because he thought he had been impressing Daniel all day but that's not the point. The point is for him and Alex of course not to be discovered. But it was a cool little running gag throughout these scenes that Daniel would always get Ray's last name of Alvarado incorrect. Alex of course realizes that her only course of action to get out of this problem is to find the surveillance camera and try to get, shut it down to get the videotape out of it. So we see her successfully tracking down the camera inside her father's office here. But of course, before she can succeed in doing so, she is stopped in her tracks by Vince's security team member, Nicole, for the day. This is a particularly hard assignment for Nicole, although her being very organized and very disciplined makes her extremely good at the job. She hates everything that the chemical plant represents and knows that they are in fact poisoning the planet. So this was definitely the worst assignment of all of the Atron Junior High School students on the day. Since Alex did not succeed in that moment to achieve getting a hold of the videotape, she hatches a plan with Ray and Annie to get inside the chemical plant that night to steal the tape. So here we see her zapping Dave from behind as Dave was blocking their sneak view of the tape deck from the door because they have to be able to see which videotapes are being watched in order to know when Alex's tape is going to come up. The tape showing Alex's powers was indeed the next to be in the tape queue as we see here and we see a really funny moment that we didn't originally see which was Alex's dad joking around with her and treating her as though she was an actual potential employee by calling her Miss Mac and calling himself George Mac. So this was a really cool touching moment affirming that Alex's dad does really have love for her despite what he may outwardly show as favoritism toward scientist daughter Annie. Here we see that Alex is going to utilize night vision goggles to be able to see and get a hold of the videotape before they realize that it's gone. Of course she must use her power to be able to elude Vince and Dave without being seen. So first of course we see the zapping power from her fingers to knock out the power within the plant. And then naturally we see her morphing capabilities as she morphs to slide under the door undetected. And here we see that she does manage to get hold of the videotape before Vince and Dave see it and we see what the view is like through the night vision goggles as she does so. 
As they try to escape with the videotape, we see this look of shock and horror from all three of them as they're nearly caught by Vince and his head of night security. And that's why you see this look of shock and horror on all three of them as they were nearly discovered. After this close call, they realize that their only real chance here is Alex's power. So we see her utilizing her telekinesis here to focus and make a car move on its own. Just a little bit to the point to where she can zap power the ignition with her fingers, causing the car to drive away, crashing through a closed gate and causing an over-exasperated and overly concerned Vince to successfully think that the perpetrators of the crime in the plant denied her getting away. Meanwhile, upon returning home, Alex and Annie wake up their father, who is sleeping on the couch, who of course asks them where they are coming from, to which Alex actually cleverly pulls out the tape and says, the video store. Mr. Mack then proceeds to tell Alex how proud he is of her. Alex, with this perplexed look on her face, says, what are you talking about, Dad? And he goes, you know, on career day, you actually handled yourself really well, and I know you don't like science, and you just did it to make me happy. To which Alex, truthfully, but also cleverly, for us, the audience, and those on the inside on the show, say, it was no big deal, Dad. It actually ended up being way more exciting than I thought it was going to be. George then asked his girls if they would like to watch that videotape down here, meaning down there downstairs, to which Annie replies cleverly, I don't think you're ready for it, Dad. And that is your funny signature line for the majority of Alex and Mac episodes for this very, very strong episode. And being that we're only four episodes into the show, just showed how unbelievably intense the writing could be on this show and how dangerous it could actually be if a person had superpowers and was forced to keep those superpowers secret, which of course is the central point of the show. And I think that this was the first episode where we really got to see just what kind of a danger it could be for Alex if she had been discovered. So one of my favorites early on by far. If you haven't already subscribed, you can do so right now by hitting the round subscribe icon to my left. Check out the playlist for any of the Secret World of Alex Mac videos you may have missed and support Razman's Reality on Patreon. And as always, this has been your Razman's Reality Check.